Hi, my name is Andrew Hamilton, and I'm the founder of Discovered Money, a 501c3 nonprofit organization that always volunteers to help you find your unclaimed property. Today we're in the final segment of our five-part series entitled How to Obtain Your Unclaimed Property. See, once you've searched and found your unclaimed property, something we discussed in our last segment, you're now ready to claim it. So let's start. You should have already found your unclaimed property from our last segment. Also, we will continue using the same example on the California Unclaimed Property website. Usually each state has a link or listing of unclaimed property on their website once you find your money that contains either directions or a claim form with information to complete. These forms can be long and tedious. Please follow their directions. However, in this segment, I want to dive a little deeper. Once the claim form is completed, you need to provide additional information to prove you are the owner of your money to be able to obtain your unclaimed property. Again, using our California example, you must provide both a copy of your ID, a driver's license, passport, state ID, and proof of your social security number, social security card, tax return, pay stub. In addition, if the business that sent your money into the unclaimed property abyss, the state government, did not report your social security number, you must provide either of the following two items. Proof of your address, a utility bill, bank or credit card statement, marriage or birth certificate, credit report, or documentation that you did business with the entity that sent your money to the state government. A statement, invoice, receipt, list of safe deposit box contents. You may think you're done, not yet. You must notarize your unclaimed property form if it is greater than $1,000, a security, like a bond or a stock, or if it represents contents of a safe deposit box. Special instructions apply if you are claiming a financial instrument, if there is more than one owner, if your business is owed unclaimed property, or if you are a minor who has unclaimed property. Finally, the California Unclaimed Property website states, Due to the large volume of claims we received and process, it may take up to 180 days to process your claim. Good luck with that. So there you have it. This is the last segment of our five-part series educating you about unclaimed property. To recap, we first introduced the concepts of unclaimed property. Then we showed you how not to lose your money into the unclaimed property abyss. We then discussed where to find unclaimed property how to find unclaimed property, and lastly, how to get it back. Thanks for watching.